A few more questions. They're asking some things like, you know, do you need any special uh, software for this? No, you don't need software. You're going to need a computer. Yeah. You're going to need a computer. You know, your phone could work for that matter, yeah. I suppose. Then, but, does it matter what brokerage they use? No, I don't know. You, I get asked that all the time. What platform? I was like, yo, yeah. it doesn't matter, bro. Look, man, I'm not, yeah, I don't, I'm not like a commissioned sales person fucking mm -hmm. trying to promote a platform or something, man. Yeah. You know, you're going to, this is an educational course. I'm going to help you. I'm gonna help you learn how to do stuff, but any of the main platforms, if you yeah, are on a, a mirror trade or E-Trade or you know, Fidelity or uh, even this Robinhood shit, that's the new trendy thing with young hey. people. Robinhood's okay. All these other ones are, you know, they're more developed, frankly. But mm -hmm. yeah, um, yeah well, you know, I don't I don't get a penny from that. I'm not trying to, you know, any of those major Charles Schwab, yeah. any of those major platforms are gonna work just fine, man. I have five, I have, I have four. <laughs> for a stupid reason. Uh, <laughs> uh, Nicholas says he's already registered for the class. Is there anything you would like us to do or know before the class? I, I want. Yeah, first of all, congratulations to Nicholas. Uh, congratulations. Congratulations. Show, show. congratulations for show him love. Yeah. On top of that, you know, I want you. You know what I want you to do, Nicholas? Is I, I want you to rest easy. I want you to come well rested and well prepared. That we're going to work hard, but you're going to have such a better understanding about the, how the global economy functions and how the various markets and sub-markets work that comprise the global economy. And you're gonna have a lot better idea how to understand those things, how they all work together, and how you can you know, avoid, avoid negative outcomes and take advantage of a lot more positive opportunities when they come. So I, I, with, with all the sincerity in my heart, I want you to rest easy knowing that's a fact. If you show up and do your part, I'm definitely gonna do my part, and that's a fact. So you know we're gonna do uh, the intro call, like I said, on August 5th. And then we're going to start the actual program on August 12th. The intro call is, you know, we're, you know, we're just going to have, it's going to be a, a fun chit chat together, all right? I'm going to understand what you guys are up to, what are some things that you're thinking about, you know, I'll share a few things that I'm up to, and, you know, we'll lay the foundations for the hard work we're about to begin on August 12th, okay? What I would say, Nicholas, is if you can, start, get, start getting whatever you can, even if it's getting another job, even if it's Uber, whatever. Start getting as much money as you can, because I just wish I had more disposable income. I had a lot of money tied up in business and other stuff when you first started telling me this about this stuff, and I was just like, just man, I just wish I had more money to put in. You know what I'm saying? And you're gonna feel the same way. Like however much you have, you to start, you're gonna wish you had more once you see the returns. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So just get just you know, but you don't. Not that you need a lot, but the more the better. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I see Robert in here and a couple other people I asked about what stocks do I recommend. If you're on the program, I'll talk about that. If you're not on the program, you know, for, I'm, not, I'm not telling you people to buy any stocks. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you some things that I bought. I'll tell you the reasons I bought them. I'll tell you some things that I sold and the reasons I sold them. I'll tell you some reason, some stocks I never invested in and why I avoided those things. So, but to be clear, you know, yeah, if you're serious, I'll share all that information, but you're going to be on my program. And the thing is, like, you can't ask for specific stocks because it's time sensitive. It's time sensitive. A lot of the stocks you told me to buy, um, like last time you were in, like, I, you wouldn't recommend all of those now, right? You know what I'm saying? Well, things, the market things, changes. Things change, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, the market changes. Like, I remember it was like, it was last week or the week before last, like Facebook, like really dropped, right? Like really, really dropped because they had some people were protesting them or something. It dropped crazy. Yeah. And then I was like, I, I, I made for a quick trade. I was like, I bought a bunch of it. And then sold it when it when it when it went way better. You can't make that trade now. I can tell you that, right? But it's like what what happened. But you you need to do it as it's happening. Yeah. Right. You need. To, that's why. That's why. That's why this is a mentorship, right? That's why this is a is a mentorship. Like you can read a book about swimming, but that don't make you Michael Phelps, man. No. Nah. Right. Michael Phelps had a trainer, right? Like you can just try to figure this shit out on your own YouTube videos, books. But there's a reason, like when you, like the Navy SEALs, like the the, the most elite fighting fighting force on earth, maybe ever, right? Mm -hmm. They don't tell them that when they train them, they're like, all right, here's a bunch of YouTube videos and a, <laughs> bunch, of, <laughs> and a bunch of books. You want to read these and come back, we're going to put you in war. Nah, they work with people who actually already did it, right? People who are already veterans. They've seen combat. They've been through wars, right? And they train with them, right? Then they go out and they start kicking ass, right? And that's what, <laughs> think about like, this is like for your money. Right, because Derek's already been through the. Well, he's already been through a, a recessions. He's made money during recessions, good times, bad times. He's already had done, done it, right? So now he's building like, like a seal team, of motherfuckers like me and others who went through with straight, you know, are, are are crushing it. But we wouldn't be able to do it on our own. 
Yeah, we got, uh, what else we got here? We got, Alex says, Brandon or Derek, uh, what stock steady or parameters do you scan? We, we're, I'm gonna talk about it on the program. I'm gonna, if you're serious, you can be in the program. If you're not serious, don't worry about it. If you're not serious, don't worry about it. If you are serious, you're gonna be in the program. You already filled out an application, go fill it out right now. If you're serious, go fill out an application right now. Mm. You know, if you, only if you're serious, only if you're serious. If you're not serious, don't worry about it, man. Um, this uh, Vuchuish is asking about, uh, you know, various, uh, you know, no, you're, you're not investing your money with me. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, you're not giving me any money except that you're gonna enroll in this course. You're gonna enroll in my course, but the, the guy is asking questions as, as if, uh, as, as if I'm gonna be trading for you or something. So no, 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 no. to be clear, I, I never said that and I'm not doing that. And uh, so, you know, a lot, a lot of the questions you're asking are, are just weird because I'm not, I'm not trading your money. Uh, you're trading, I'm teaching you how to make investment decisions for yourself. Yeah, I'm teaching you how to do things like, a, like an adult, like an adult, I'm teaching mm -hmm. you how to, you know, how do financial traders, how do, how do financial professionals, and you know, how do some of the you know, smartest people in the world look at the markets to get outsized returns so you ain't getting some average mediocre shit, okay? Uh, Hendry says, uh, can this program work with a teenager who's, uh, who are in school, an athlete program like me? Yeah, if you, if you, got, if you value education and you got a good work ethic, uh, you, you gotta be 18, I'm not having, mm -hmm. I, I, I can't take you in my course if you're not an adult. Mm -hmm. If you're not an adult, then you know, I, I can't have children joining, okay? Yeah, I don't even think you're allowed to buy stocks under 18. Yeah, you gotta be 18, man. Yeah. You gotta be 18, because you can't, you can't I, don't want, uh, I don't want to take children in my course, and also you're not gonna be able to trade those assets, okay? Yeah. So you gotta be 18. You gotta be 18. If you're 18 or older, uh, if you're serious, if you're the right type of person, I'd be happy to have you. Um, right, what else we got? Is this for Americans only? Andreas, no, I got a lot of friends. I got friends in Europe, mm -hmm. I got clients in Europe, Australia, Asia. Um, you know, I was traveling 51 weeks per year. I got, I've been to over like either 64 or 65 countries. Brandon and I have been on several continents together. Yeah, man. Brandon and I traveled all over together, been to Europe a few times, mm -hmm. went to Australia, mm -hmm. all over the United States. So uh, now I got friends everywhere and I got clients everywhere. And um, it's a global, there's one economy, homie. It's called the global economy. Mm. It's called the global, you ain't even gotta be from Earth. Nah. Not only do you not have to be from America, you ain't even gotta be from Earth. Mm. As long as you can get, you got some internet, wherever the fucking Martian space vessel you might have. Yeah. If you got some internet and access to the, the global markets, yeah. the markets of Earth, you're good. You yeah. ain't even gotta be an Earth dweller. You could be a Martian motherfucker. That's fantastic. It, it is true. Yeah. It's true though. I think, I think Martians, they have to sign up with like interactive brokers or something, I don't think they can do. <laughs> you gotta find the brokerage house yeah, that's gonna take the it. That, that work you gotta with find them. the brokerage house that's gonna <laughs> work, work with, with you. Martian. But uh, if you're on Earth, any brokerage will almost say, oh, most yeah. brokerages will work with you. If you're Maybe. from Earth, you, you're gonna be good. <laughs> if you're from Earth, you're gonna be good. Uh, AJ said, extra, uh, is there extra work or classes I take on top of this course to ensure my success? Oh man, well, I, you, I like that question. That's, that is, that's a, that's a question of a winner. Yeah, it's a fantastic That's question. a question of a winner. No, I mean, do, do this first. Make your commitment to this. We got, I mean, we're gonna start in less than a month. We're gonna start in less than a month, okay? We just start in a few weeks. So get on here with me, and you know, you're gonna have a lot of stuff to, to put in your head. We're gonna convey a lot of stuff in your head, and you're gonna like it, and you, you'll, you, you're gonna have a real clear path from there. And you know what? When we do our calls every week, when you talk to me live, every week I'm there on video with my, with my beautiful face, my voluminous hair. <laughs> Uh, every week I'm there live doing those calls and you know, you're gonna be able to ask me any questions as we go. You know, we're gonna fill in the blanks and fill in the blanks and fill in the blanks um, until you have a very clear picture of what's up in uh, how to do well for yourself, okay? That's so you, you're good, you're good, AJ. You're gonna be good. You know, Gokan, I see you're in there. I see you got your call. He said, I got accepted in the program, Derek. I appreciate it. Congratulations, I was listening brother. to you on uh, Instagram as well. I look forward to this next chapter in my life. I need to log off my now my daughter is crying. Tell that little kid to be quiet. Tell that daddy's getting this money. Daddy's getting this money. Daddy's getting this money. Be Daddy, quiet. No. Nah. <laughs> Tell that little child to be quiet. But no respect. Congratulations, man. brother. Respect. I'm happy to have you part of the program. I, yeah. I'm happy you're serious. And your daughter not gonna be crying later when she find out her daddy's balling out of control. Yeah, she's gonna be real. She's happy. gonna feel dumb for all those tears as a child. <laughs> She's gonna apologize for that time she was four months old and cried on your fucking, <laughs> well, you were learning about more money. <laughs> She's gonna apologize. Ashton, I see your phone number in here. I see a lot of phone numbers in here, by the way. Um, 
what up? We got uh, Takeda, what up? She says, listen, I probably, I probably would have to take a loan to join this program. I think the returns would be worth it. Mm. We have to keep it real. Um, this is over $10,000 Barbados, mm. but I have to invest in me. Look, you know, I had to invest in me too, to yeah. keep it, you know, you know, very seriously is like, you know, my parents didn't give me a penny for school. Mm. They didn't give me nothing. And I, and I mean not a penny, they didn't give me anything. And, you know, I spent nine years in school. I spent over a million dollars on my education. And, you know, uh, that was, uh, you know, a few hundred thousand dollars for, for university courses. And then on top of that, you know, is uh, joining mastermind groups and self-help programs, yeah. you know, things about business, things about finance specifically, uh, things about just how to live your life better, you know, you know general self-help type stuff. And it's the best money I ever spent. I, I felt stupid some time ago, you know, uh, see 2019, you know, I looked at how much I paid in, you know, when I was doing my taxes, I looked at how much I spent on those type of courses and I, I'd only spent about $39,000 that mm. year. And I remember I felt stupid about it. I remember sitting there with my CPA and looking at that, and I'm like, man, every time I invested in those type of things, I always made more money always back. Always more money. I always made more money back. Yeah. And then... I'm part of several course, uh, programs, you know what I'm saying? Masterminds and such, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna learn stuff until I'm dead. I know yeah. you're that type of person, oh, too. Oh, come on, man. I know you're that type of person, I just got too. a box of books today, you know what I'm saying? And, like, a bunch of courses. I'm, I mean, I'm just saying, I'm all about I mean, it. I'm, I'm going to spend, you know, on this course, it's going to take you about 100 hours, you know, maybe more. But I'd say a normal person is going to spend at least 100 hours, you know, working through this course. Mm. And this, this is not some get-rich-quick bullshit. Uh, you know, it's going to take time. It's going to take work. It's going to take 100 hours, and you're going to have to focus. And you're going to be grumpy with me at some point. You're going to be, why the fuck am I learning this? This is intense. Mm. You know, why do I need to know this? And then later on, after the pieces fit together, oh, shit, that's why I need to know this. Mm. That's why I need to know this. So, you know, I, I'm not, you know, not, not only do I not want to take money from a hardworking person who's not going to benefit, you know, I want to make sure that only somebody who is going to benefit is allowed to join. After you join, you're committed. We're doing it. After you join, you're in there. You're committed. But I'm not, I, don't, I only want somebody that... They're going to be serious and they're going to show up because I know I'm going to be serious and I'm going to show up. Mm. And I, I want to see you win. I want to see you win. So, I, you know, from my heart, uh, I understand being in a, in a cash constrained environment. I've been in places where, you know, times in my life, you know, my, my mom didn't have uh, enough food in the house mm. or times in my life that we getting some welfare shit delivered. I hated that shit. Yeah. And, you know, when I see somebody else struggling but trying to trying to make a better future for themselves. I have tremendous respect for that. I, I was one of those people. I have tremendous respect for that. My friend Brandon was one of those people, you know? Yeah, man. So I, I have a lot of respect for that. So if you show up, I'm gonna show up too. And uh, I think you're gonna be very happy.